Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Hope everybody is fine. Okay, guys. Um, is any anyone or somebody watched uh, news past uh, last couple of days? Okay, did you watch DC? Okay, did you see the white terrorists, uh, Proud Boys, and other white supremacy yeah. KKK yeah. and uh, come on, mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Uh, KKK, did you see that? Did you see what did they did in uh, black churches? Uh, tearing down the uh, Black Lives Matter banners and burning down. Did you see that? So where is the so-called uh, the president of law and order? Where is he? So you remember during uh, the demonstration of uh, Black Lives Matter and the demonstration of uh, George Floyd? No? You saw the so-called... Uh, President of Law and Order sent military, yeah, National Guard and other federal police officers, you know, to quench, to smash down the Black Lives Matters and uh, the uh, the black demonstration who were called, uh, who were calling, sorry, who were calling for justice for George Floyd and uh, uh, and uh, Brian Teller. So where are these uh, national guards and where are these uh, federal police, you know, uh, going to D.C. and uh, push, push back these white supremacists who are burning some stuff and destroy some stuff in black churches? Who, 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 where, where are they, where's the president? Okay, do you remember that uh, uh, debate between... Um, Joe Biden and President uh, Donald Trump, who was asked about the Proud Boys. What are you going to do about proud, proud Boys or Proud Boys? Remember what did he say, President Trump? He said, okay guys, stand down and stand by. Do you see these white supremacists scrap themselves with the weapons and uh, Bullet proofs and everything in Washington, D.C., no, and everywhere in the United States. So, do you see National Guard or police officers going push them back? Uh, you see them here and there, but no, really. I don't see National Guard, I don't see National Army, National Guard Army, or federal police governments going to push back this uh, so called terror white terrorism. KKK, supremacy, wild, Viking, whatever they call it, uh, wolf, you know, angry Viking, wolf, and uh, other white terrorists, you know. Did you see them in, in, in Washington? Did you see the National Guard pushing back these people? No, because they have been told to stay back but stand by. Now they've been unleashed, okay? You see this family? These people, they can do whatever they want, okay? Because they believe this is their country. They believe this is, the, this, this is it, okay? They believe they are the ones that have power. And maybe, for some extent, maybe it's right. Or maybe they're right. Because black people, they don't believe that they do have power here in America. They don't believe at all. That's why they, they are pushed back and forth, you know. That's why if they do demonstration or they are calling for justice, they are calling for that. You see this so-called law and order president of the United States, Donald Trump, sending army, yeah, federal officers, a group of police officers to go and push back and even arrest and even sometimes killing the protesters. protesters. You see the vehicle plowing, you know, plowing the, de the Black Lives Matter, all the people, the black people calling the, for justice, plowing in between demonstrators, killing people. But you see this uh, KKK, KKK and white supremacy and white terrorism who are terrorizing the DC right now, Washington? You don't see the uh, the National Guard Army, you don't see the 
a group of uh, federal government police so going there and push back these people and arresting these people. They are there with the guns and everything calling for their king to be installed. Okay? They are calling for their king to be installed. Their king, their messiah. Yeah? Their white messiah, Donald Trump, lost the election. They are calling him to be installed again. Okay? And this will be this is dangerous now, black families, and for those white people, the peaceful white people. Because I believe there's a lot of good white white people out there. You know? I myself I can just test, testify. Okay. You know? I've been living in the United States. The most people who use used to help me actually are white people. No black fellow, black brother or black sister. Help me. Whenever I have some small problem here and there, you know, and I go to, you know, ask uh, white people, could you please help me to go through this? You know? Some people, some white people actually are ready to help black people. You know? And I believe if this uh, white terrorism, they're going to attack black people, black churches, there'll be white people standing by protecting black people i believe that you know i've seen them white people demonstrating hand to hand with black life matters with other uh, black uh, demonstrators group who are actually calling for justice but have you ever seen uh, a group of black protesters whether it's black Black Matter or other black protesters without the police officers send there or federal police send there or even National Guard Army, even federal army even send there to crush the black demonstrators. Yes, I, I know I I know you 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 do, I know you you you, you did see, okay? But do you see what's going on uh, uh, at the weekend in Washington, D.C.? This white supremacy tearing down the Black Lives Matter burners and try to uh, discredit, how do you call, how do you call it, uh, try to destroy the, uh, the black churches. You know? So, black folks, be ready. They're king. President Donald Trump told his people, stay back by stand by. What about you black families? Are you standing by? Are you, or you are sitting duck? If we are sitting duck, we black families, we are doomed to be destroyed. We are doomed. But as, as I said, there's other good white people out there that will defend black people in America. They will defend black people. Okay? So don't worry about this KKK white supremacist thing. Or this is a white terrorism thing they are going to D.C. Okay? Don't worry if the uh, so-called uh, law and order uh, president of the United States, Donald Trump, n n n don't send uh, the National Guard or army or police, federal police, to push back this terrorism, white terrorism, KKKs. Don't worry about that. Because he, he himself, during the debate between he, uh, Joe Biden and him, uh, between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, he told them this uh, proud boy, uh, proud boys already, that you st uh, step back and stand by. You stand by. So now they're already standing by. They're, they're uh, they, they went for actual order, okay? Maybe right now it's a secretively, you know? They've been told, maybe, I don't know if they've been told secretly now or what, but it will come now. The, probably they're going to be told openly, okay, go there, protect, uh, protect liberty, protect freedom, protect whatever they call it, you know? Be patriotic, you know? I don't know what kind of patriotic is that that you hate other people, you hate other Americans, and you do violence the other side. That's not a patriotic person, 
okay but any anyway guys so please subscribe put your comments and let, let me know man let me know why so-called uh, law and order uh, president Donald Trump didn't send or never send the National Guard Army at the weekend at the uh, Washington DC to push back so-called angry Vikings or these so-called uh, uh, Proud Boys and these so-called KKKs no did you I didn't see any effort okay police officers are actually pushing back these people no there's a pockets of small police officers here and there you know but you don't see them you don't see the large large police officers uh, like that you have saw or you have seen two black people demonstrators uh, to have seen two black people demo demonstrate uh, demonstrate demonstrators or demonstrating or uh, demonstrators okay okay guys please subscribe put your comments bye bye take care guys